The crisis continues for America's newspaper industry. Just this month, McClatchy, owner of the Miami Herald, the Kansas City Star, and other papers filed for bankruptcy and will undergo restructuring. McClatchy got its start in Sacramento, California. Not far away, one small paper has managed to survive for more than a century and a half, and now with a new and unlikely editor at the helm. John Blackstone has the story. Downeyville, California, is a gold rush town that in the mid-1800s was home to about 5,000 people. That's when Downeyville's weekly newspaper, The Mountain Messenger, first rolled off the presses, making it California's oldest weekly newspaper. Even Mark Twain once wrote for The Messenger. For the past 30 years, its owner, editor, and delivery manager has been Don Russell, a man with a ready laugh, <laughs> who these days is even happier than usual. Free at last. <laughs> Russell was ready to retire, but nobody wanted to buy the paper. Then Carl Butts showed up. And I'm just delighted that I found somebody stupid enough to take it over. <laughs> Butts, who retired to Downeyville about a decade ago, canceled a long vacation he'd been planning and decided to invest in the Mountain Messenger instead, even though he had no previous newspaper experience. And I thought, God, if I'm going around the world and the paper's gone, I'm going to feel guilty for the rest of my life. When you bought the paper, and the headlines say something like, sucker found? Pigeon, I think he Pigeon used. found. Pigeon found, yeah. Owning the Mountain Messenger means doing just about everything. Deadlines here are Wednesday afternoon. As Butts learned when Russell took him to pick up the paper hot off the presses and start delivering it to newspaper boxes around the county. There you go. Why is the paper so important to Downeyville? This past year, the bank went away. The gas station's been closed. You know, the, the town is like dying. You know, local papers can be something to hold, bind together a community. Butts has no plans to modernize California's oldest weekly newspaper. Right. Are you going to have an online edition? No. He's not impressed by news posted on Facebook. I mean, who's going to be looking at those posts that somebody made 50 years from now? Nobody. But if we put it on paper, it's going to exist. And maybe a really Phil Don's shoes, you got to work in your laugh a little bit. OK, I can't do it as his laugh. No, I can't. <laughs> but maybe a pigeon, but he's also a savior. For CBS This Morning Saturday, John Blackstone, San Francisco. <laughs> I knew the two of you could do that. Yeah. Great laugh and great save. Yeah. A wonderful story yeah, by John really. Blackstone and Chris Weicker. Congrats, guys. Yeah.